Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will see the difference between repartition and coalesce with an example. So, let's start the video. Coalesce and repartition are used to change the number of partitions. These operations can redistribute the RDD based on the number of partitions provided. Repartition can be used to increase or decrease the partition, whereas coalesce is used to decrease the partition. Let's say you have a data set on two machines with four partitions. And if I want to repartition it to have two partitions, then let's see what will happen. So in repartition, Spark will perform a shuffle and will try to create two partitions with almost similar size. In this process, a shuffle will be involved, which means a network overhead will be involved in repartition. Let's see if I call coalesce instead of repartition and I want to reduce the partition to 2. So coalesce will try to avoid the shuffle and will try to merge partition on the same machine and two output partitions will be created. This would mean the output partitions have uneven size. Let's see all this by an example. For this video, I am using Databricks Notebook. So let me create a notebook. Click on Create a Notebook icon over here. Give a name to your notebook. I will give the name as Coalesce underscore repartition. I will select the language as Scala. I am using Spark 3.3.2 with Scala version as 2.12. So this is my notebook. Let me create a data frame. So I will write val df equals Spark, which is a Spark session object dot range from 1 to 5 and let's say it's 5 zeros dot 2df and the column name is ID. You can execute the code with icon over here or you can hit shift plus enter to execute the code. My DF is created. Let's see the number of partitions for this DF. So I will write DF dot RDD. This will convert DF to an RDD then dot get num partitions. So this will give me the number of partitions. Let's execute this by shift plus enter. So I have eight partitions. Now let's see how the coalesce can be used to reduce the partitions to five. So I will write df dot coalesce five dot write dot mode. I will set the mode as overwrite dot parquet and the path is slash file store slash tables slash input underscore data slash coalesce. Let's execute it by shift plus enter. Now click on view over here to view the job. As you can see in the DAG, there is no shuffle involved. It is just code gen, then coalesce, and then the file write. So there is no shuffle involved in the coalesce. Now let's see how many partitions are created. So I will write display dbutils, which is a Databricks function, dot fs, dot ls, and the path, which is file store slash tables slash input underscore data slash coalesce. As you can see, there are five part files and the size of the part file is uneven. So coalesce can be used to decrease the partition and it will try to avoid shuffle and 
the output can be uneven in size. Now let's try to do a repartition to reduce the partition to 5. So I will write df dot repartition with the value as 5 dot write dot mode. I will set the mode as overwrite dot parquet and the path is slash file store slash tables slash input underscore data slash repartition. Now let's execute it. And if I click on the view of job 6, it has one stage with code gen and exchange. And if I go to job 7, you will see a shuffle query stage. So for repartition, a shuffle has happened. Now let's see the number of partitions it has created. So I will write display dbutils dot fs dot ls and the path. Let's execute it. You can see there are 5 part files and the size of the part file is almost same. Now let's execute the repartition again with increase in the number of partition. I will increase the partition to 10. So I will write df dot repartition and the value is 10 dot write dot mode. I will set the mode as overwrite dot parquet and the path is slash file store slash tables slash input underscore data slash repartition underscore inc. Now let's execute it. Now click on view of job 9 and you will see a shuffle has happened. So with repartition, there will always be a shuffle involved, even if you increase or decrease the partition. Now let's see the number of partitions. So I will write display dbutils.fs.ls and the path. As you can see, there are 10 part files and the size of the part file is almost the same. But this time we have increased the number of partitions. So by this example, we can reach to a conclusion that repartition can be used to increase or decrease the partition, but mostly used to increase the number of partitions. Shuffle will be involved in repartition. And repartition tries to create the partition which are similar in size. Whereas coalesce can be used only to decrease the number of partition. The output of the coalesce can be uneven in size. So we have reached to end of our today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such video. Thank you.